In today's tutorial, we're going to look at how to whiten eyes and teeth in portraits. I'm Kobe Shorts and I'm a photographer, filmmaker, and that's what I actually do over here on my YouTube channel. So if you're interested in photography and filmmaking based content, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notification button so that anytime I upload a new video over here, you'll be the first to see it and watch it. All right, let's get right into it without much ado. Okay, so in this image, what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in all the way into the eyes. All right. So I've actually done some skin retouching to it. And so this is one of the last finishes that I do. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, first of all, create this layer, hue saturation layer. Before I start the cleanup process, I want to mention that the eyes actually have veins and it has some stains in there as well. And that's what we are going to target. So the stains have the properties of yellow and the veins have the properties of red okay so what we're going to do is we are going to desaturate the yellow and the reds out of the image in total then we are going to use mask to clean out and select just the eyes so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change this from master and select reds and on the saturation level i'm going to pull it all the way to the left and push the lightness all the way to the right and I'm going to do equally for the yellows as well. Push it all the way to the left and push it all the way to the right on the lightness. And that's going to give me a desaturated look over here of the yellows and the reds. And because you have yellows and reds in the skin, you're going to also have it ending up losing its saturation. But that's not to worry. We're going to invert this mask over here, the hue saturation mask, by pressing Control i and it inverts it back to how it was but we are going to have control over the yellows and the reds only okay so with my brush tool i'm going to open it up according to the size and with an opacity of 100 and a flow of 100 i'm gonna clean it all up okay so what we are seeing is a desaturated part of the eyes okay and eventually giving us white in the in the eyes okay so we are whitening the eyes much more let me zoom out and see okay at this stage one can be okay with how far we've come but we are gonna go ahead to add even much more white to it and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create curves and increase it all the way from the middle upward that way and likewise I'm going to invert by hitting control I it's going to invert that for me and with the help of the brush tool i'm going to maintain opacity of 100 but this time flow of two and with that i'm going to whiten the eyes furthermore okay so what i'm doing over here is i am using a white brush over the eyes like so i'm going to do call it the same for this side as well so let's it before and after and you notice that you are getting somewhere. Okay, so I'm gonna further do that in there. All right, I'm gonna clean this part as well. Someone may even go ahead to remove the veins in there, but with mine, I'm gonna actually leave it. But it's another step you can also take. So if you wish to remove the veins in there, you can equally do that as well. All right. Okay, so you notice that there are some reflections in the eye by virtue of the reflector that was used underneath the face of the model. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, with the same um, properties of the flow, I'm going to whiten this part even more with the curves, okay? And even make it pop some more. It's just like dodging and burning, all right? So this time I'm actually dodging in there adding much more whiteness in there to make it glimmer just like so all right okay so that's where we are so let's group these two layers the curves and the hue saturation and hit before after before after if you feel like it is overdone because we've grouped this it's going to affect it at the same time within a group so with a decrease of the opacity it can increase how much effect we are adding to 
what we've just done all right so all the way to zero is going to bring it back and i'm going to find somewhere around 68 or let's say 68 i think 68 works best for me and uh, i think i'm cool so let's hit before and after all right so the eyes are whitened and let's look at another scenario where it has teeth as well all right so in this photograph we're going to do equally the same thing for the teeth just like we did with the eyes okay so let's start first of all again with the eyes so i'm going to hit this the hue and saturation reds pull it all, all the way out and lightness all the way as well as the yellows just like so okay but it's quite tricky in this particular one all right you're gonna see that in a moment all right so i'm gonna hit invert to bring it back and with a flow of 100 remember we're going to whiten the eyes okay just like so just like so okay all right but in this particular area for the teeth remember that we removed um the reds all the way to the left and the lightness all the way to the right okay so that means that whatever we do over here is also going to affect the red okay so we have to either be careful as we clean in there or to be even more safe we can create yet another layer of hue and saturation and only target the yellows in there and we can freely brush over the teeth without risking crossing over to the lips okay so that's about that and equally let's add a bit of curves in there just a little bit like that and with a flow of two always for the curves gonna clean it up even some more just like so and i think quite okay with how far we've come okay so let's group it all and see what we've done so far so before and after before and after and that's basically what you do if you want to whiten eyes and clean up the teeth and make it also white so thank you very much for watching this video to the very end if you enjoyed it please remember to leave a comment like this video share it across all social media platforms and subscribe if you haven't turn on the post notification button so that you always be notified just like i said before and i'm gonna catch you later in the next video have a wonderful day see ya